So in response to other Andrew Yang YouTubers, playtime is over. Now it's time to actually get to work. And I am convinced. So I'm different from other you, Mag, Andrew Yang. Oh, I was saying Magic the Gathering YouTubers. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Um, I'm different from other Andrew Yang YouTubers in that my fame has nothing to do with Andrew Yang. Gutterlist is actually a website with a lot of SEO traffic. I think we get about $40,000 of traffic a month from just um, a short Gutterlist and RunRex and Big Gale and PPC Hire. And I'm most famous for my LinkedIn profile, which is about startups. And that's why I was initially attracted to Andrew Yang after watching him on Fox News from Tucker Carlson. I said, oh, who is this guy? Let me do more research. And I was really inspired to help him and to promote him because my demographic on LinkedIn, very moderate, very Republican business owners, lawyers, doctors, and not typical, they're not typical people. These are movers and shakers that can influence. I think people search um, the top two searches. I have to show you one. You can go on my LinkedIn, but it right now it's Elon Musk, Mark Zucker, not Mark Zucker, Elon Musk, Mark Cuban, and Obama. Uh, LinkedIn has this algorithm which shows that like, oh, people who looked for you also looked for Obama and so on. I don't know why Obama's there, but he is. But it's always been Elon Musk and Mark Cuban. They've always been in my top list. And there's some really crazy female CEOs there too uh, with great marketing agencies. And that's what people relate. I have almost 50K followers there. I do talk about Andrew Yang. And I do promote him. But I do so in a way that I'm introducing a new audience to Andrew Yang. And that's the problem. The problem right now is very simple. We have 3%. So it's not like we're Mayor Pete and we have 25% and we just got to hold out. No, we need to somehow increase our 3% to 30%. Then we'll be safe. Or at least 10%. Because then we can be in double digits, right? We can be like, oh, well, you know, we're in double digits. Which sounds good. I mean, that sounds a lot better than 3%. I mean, the gra uh, numbers, math, does not lie. And since our campaign is based on math, 3% is not good when you have 25, 16, 15, and 15. 71 in the top four. No good. We need to increase our 3% to 10% at least. That would be my goal. How can we do this? Uh, more donations. So more money. That's always a semi-solution. And getting people who don't know about Andrew Yang to know about him. The liberals, MSNBC, CNN, they have, they already know everything there is to know about Andrew Yang, and they know that their viewers are not crazy about him. Therefore, that's why they never write articles. They even leave him out of polls, which I think is extremely disrespectful, and it's intentional. At this point, it's intentional, right? Because even if they fix the poll, well, how many people saw the original poll? And did you even publish the fixed poll, which you did not on TV, right? You just tweeted it out, right? It's kind of like, hey, I have 100,000 people watch me on YouTube. And I'm going to attack so-and-so, right? And then, oops, I made a mistake. I made a factual math mistake. And I'm going to tweet it out to my 10 followers on Twitter. Because that somehow makes up for the 100,000 people who saw the wrong data. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, right? It's simple logic and math. Right now, we are not using math. We're using emotion, fluffiness. We are just a big ball of cotton right now. Our commercials don't have any direction that we are spending millions of dollars on. Clearly are not working because if they were working, we would be at more than 3%. So as any good marketer would say... If it doesn't work, you don't put more money into it and hope it works. You don't, and that's what Andrew Yang did. I mean, he spent a million dollars in that commercial, then he put another million in on that same commercial. I mean, wouldn't, I mean, just not put any more money in. Let's make a new commercial because clearly that commercial is not working. Andrew Yang is very unique as a candidate. 
And they say Donald can never win because Donald was not he, and is not a Republican. Any good business owner knows what Donald is. He's Donald. Donald has always been about Donald. Donald did not receive Republican support, and he still doesn't have Republican support today. You know, he made fun of Tiny Ruby and the t- Rubio, and I mean, basically, he made fun of people's wives. <laughs> I mean, there was no etiquette, right? He didn't have a, s- a semblance of an etiquette, right? But he's our president, and you might not like that. You might really hate that, but you cannot change it. You can try to make fake impeachment documents and fake tax documents like my favorite MSNBC anchor, Rachel Murdoch, with her fake tax documents that were honestly fake. Look, we're at 3%. Using math, we can know that at 3%, eventually we're going to be at zero. We're going to run out of money fast. And there is, I mean, unless you're the, it's momentum. If you build up momentum like Mayor Pete, it's really easy to keep going. It's just like any post on YouTube or social media that goes viral. Once it builds momentum, it just kind of snowballs. It's more and more people share, more and more people talk. Mayor Pete is one of the top search K- keywords in Facebook right now. Or not in Facebook. In, well, in Facebook too, but in Google. I have not seen that spike for Andrew Yang. So the amount of people typing in Pete Bullock or whatever his name is is way more, 10, 20, 30 times as much as Andrew Yang, which makes sense because 25 free. And Fox News is loving loving Mayor Pete right now. They're just uh, heaping accolades because Fox News' interest is anyone but Bernie. You know who else is anyone but Bernie? Mark Zuckerberg, who is also an ally to Mayor Pete, and you can see from the Facebook. Remember, Facebook has an algorithm, but the key here is no one knows what the algorithm is. I don't know what it is. I have thousands of dollars I spend monthly in tools to tell me what it could be. But just like the Google algorithm that changed 3,600 times already, even if I somehow was able to figure out what the algorithm was today, it's not going to be the same tomorrow. So it's impossible to figure, I mean, if something that's changing all the time, how do you pin it down? Yes, it's not big changes, but it is effective change. That's why like on YouTube, sometimes you'll watch a video and you're like, how did I get here? Algorithm, right? There, there'll be like a video, what video was I watching? I was watching a video for Barney, Barney like the dinosaur. Uh, it was called The Day Barney Died. And it was a video from like 1996 or like 2000 or something, like 2005. It was an old video. And then suddenly Facebook algorithm thought it would be good enough to put in the front page and boom, 10 million views later. No one knows what that, if you knew what that algorithm was to go viral, wouldn't like you make a ton of money? But even me, I can't figure that out because it changes all the time. Even if I figured it out for a little bit, that would be good. But again, I have the best tools in the business and well, maybe not best, most expensive, I should say. So I do know I have the most expensive tools in the business. And uh, just, no. So it's time to get cereal. Cereal. Because we are getting blown out. And that is something that no other Andrew Yang YouTuber will tell you. Because they like fluff. And fluff gives them likes and views. Oh, just like MSNBC. Wow. Amazing. So now you made the connection, right? Fluff, if you say, oh, Andrew Yang's going to win, and we're doing really well, and we improve by 10%, 10% of 3% is like nothing, right? We need like to double, triple, quad, we need to at least quadruple to get to 12% to be a viable candidate moving, like moving past December, right? So how do we do that? Well, there are still three kingmakers on the play. Jeff Bezos, remember... Jeff Bezos was the first enemy of AOC. The first thing AOC did was to kick Jeff Bezos over and over again and make fun of his haircut. But he's bold, right? So make fun of that he's bold. Jeff Bezos responded angrily to AOC and to Bernie. And he even accused Bernie that Bernie wasn't paying $15 an hour. And that's why he set the limit, uh, the minimum wage of Amazon to be $15 an hour. 
because he know that's not what Bernie was paying at the time. Bernie was paying slightly lower. And that was a you know, kickback to Bernie. What are you going to do? And then Bernie left him alone because what could Bernie do at that time? Jeff Bezos, Fox News, enemy of Bernie Sanders. So Mark Zuckerberg is gone. Mark Zuckerberg is on the Mayor Pete train. We're not going to get him back. I knew that we should have focused on them because like, imagine that you're in school and everyone's bullying you. Everyone's kicking you and making fun of your $1 trillion company and they're making you, you know, come to student council for like a, so let's say you imagine you're a senior in high school and you go to a student council and there's a bunch of freshmen making fun of you and you're like, what, what's going on here? That's exactly what happened to Mark Zuckerberg. He's like, what's going on? I'm, I'm a billionaire. Why am I coming to Congress all the time to explain how the internet works? And why is AOC making these funny Italian memes at me? Well, Mark, you need an ally. You need a friend. That friend was Mayor Pete. That friend could have been Andrew Yang. But guess who else is looking for a friend? His name is Jeff Bezos. And you might know him as the owner of Amazon. But most importantly, more important than Amazon is something called Twitch. Ah... The two other king players obviously are Google, Google, YouTube, and the other king player I would say is Elon Musk or some combination of Bill Gates and so on. We need Jeff Bezos to give us that Amazon gold, that Amazon money to fund our campaigns. If anyone knows anti-fluff, because think about Amazon. Amazon is no fluff. They just want you to buy stuff. Everything is lightning steel. Prime deal. Prime. I mean, basically, you've already paid money before you bought anything for the free shipping, right? You already paid a membership. So Amazon is all call to action, no fluff. If Jeff Bezos took over Andrew Yang's campaign, Andrew Yang would be president. I guarantee you. Andrew Yang, very good ideas, but there's like too much fluff around these ideas, so we need to condense it into a saleable. We, we need to be able to sell it to the people. And not to Andrew Yang fans. No offense to you guys. There's not enough of you. We need to sell it to people who have never heard of Andrew Yang before. We need to sell it to moderates, Republicans, and that's it. Fox News watchers. If you watch MSNBC, you probably don't like Andrew Yang because look at what MSNBC is doing to Andrew Yang. They're doing it because they know that their viewers do not care about that. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. Why jeopardize money, right? It's because they know their viewers are actually like, oh, yeah, that Andrew Yang guy, I'm never going to vote for him. Would a Bernie Sanders voter ever vote for Andrew Yang? No. So we need new people. 